Now, we've heard before of chips being implanted in the body, but here at Reading University, they're looking at something else. What happens when one of those chips gets a computer virus? Well, here's Dr. Mark Gasson, uh, surrounded by uh, uh, forms of robotic equipment. Uh, what is this research actually about? Well, we're very interested in uh, new applications of technology and implantable technologies. So um, RFID tags have been used some time for implanting in animals, for example, to identify them. Uh, if they go missing, you can scan them, get a number, and cross-reference that with the database. But this technology has really developed over the last five or ten years. And um, really, now we should consider these devices to be more like little computers. They can store information, manipulate information, do simple computations. So when we're implanting this type of device, really we're in, implanting a, like a miniature computer. Now you've actually got a chip implanted in your hand, haven't you? Yeah, I have yeah, one there. in my hand. What that allows me to do is, for example, have secure access to the building. Um, it allows me to use my mobile phone because it can recognise, the, the phone can recognise me via the chip, but no one else can use my phone. So these are fairly simple applications of this technology, but with these advances in technology come new risks. And just show us what, what you've done to that, that chip. Well, what I can do is actually read the contents of the device. This last part of all the information inside the device is actually a computer virus. So what this allows um, the chip to do is when it accesses a system, the system reads the contents and then gets infected by the virus and then any other device using the system then becomes infected by the virus as well. Now, you've given the chip a virus. Why should that matter? As we look to the future, um, I think this sort of technology, um, implantable technologies, is actually going to become fairly commonplace. If we look at medical technologies, for example, heart pacemakers, um, this is a, a deep brain stimulator unit which is implanted in the chest and actually has electrodes that go into the centre of the brain. If we look at these types of applications of implantable technology, there are benefits, but there are also risks associated with that. So we're looking at a future where you could have uh, some advanced medical device inside you, and that could be in infected by some other chip inside you. Yeah, that's right. That, that's quite possible. And equally, someone who's carrying an infected medical device could feasibly infect someone else. So we, we've got a future where we could all become one sort of great big walking uh, computer infected with a virus. That's quite possible. <laughs> so just to stress, that is a glimpse into the future. There's no danger right now of somebody with, say, a pacemaker getting a computer virus.